Bonjour, welcome to Chef Live. I am Chef Bob. Today we are at Whole Foods Market on Charleston in Rampart. Hey Bob, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I haven't seen you in a little while. <laughs> I've, I've seen is, some big changes uh, going on here, huh? Hey Bob, remember me? Oh yeah, yeah we forgot I'm sorry, Luciano. I was going to say Luciano, <laughs> but I said Rampart and my brain went is that yeah, the wrong street? Yeah, no, yeah. I know how you are around blondes. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for not introducing me, Bob. I am Luciano, the chef at Valentino, and uh, also here at uh, Chef Live, here with our good friend Lucy. And Bob. Yes, Stop sorry, there. I almost did Today. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Hello, Bob. Lucy, I know. I'm home. We got a show we got to do here, okay? Yes, sorry. Okay, okay. 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 All right. Welcome to okay. <laughs> what show are we doing? Today we are going to prepare Stop Steady, Bob. We're going to prepare a whole roasted chicken, marinated with herbs. We're going to put on a side of that some uh, grilled sweet potatoes, asparagus, and tomatoes. And as a side alternative, as a different alternative, something that c you can actually cook much quicker. We're gonna do a, a grilled chicken piccata. So we're gonna start with our roast chicken. We're gonna cut it in half. So we're actually gonna cut, not if you see here, Whoa. down the it's bone. Scary. Yeah, the bone side, and then gonna kind of butterfly it. And we're gonna take actually the backbone off. Oh. Wow. You hear that? Not only a chicken, <laughs> but he has no backbone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And then we're actually going to put on the side. We're going to then flatten this. We're going to remove extra fat because that's going to melt on the gr melt on the grill. Yeah, we don't and need it's that. Just, yeah, it's going to just uh, flare we don't up want the extra and, uh, fat. and uh, fire up. We're going to smash it down just like that. Now, since we are in favorite. somewhat of a time uh, constraint here, we're going to make some incisions where the thickest uh, parts of meat are, which is the breast. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, sorry. Be nice, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Bob. Okay. <laughs> sorry, and I'm 12. The, <laughs> and the ties. It's dangerous like that. with that knife. Yes. I know. I am. So we're going to just put this on a pan for now. And actually, Lucia, I'll let you help. Uh, while I chop the herbs. You get to use these little guys. Or if you want to, yeah, absolutely. Like, just you know, uh, like, squeeze like there and just things. make sure you get nice salt and pepper All right. over there. Over here, I'm going to chop some rosemary. Rosemary. I love that. It smells so good. I know. You do that so nicely. A little bit there. See, it smells good. Yes. A little bit so of do you. Uh, fresh so sage. Do I thank you, Bob. You're welcome. Don't forget about Bob over here. He gets a little crazy, you know. I can't focus or pay attention to anything right. but you. What's that? What's that over there? I'm actually not going to invite you anymore, Bob, if Lucy is on. We're going to have a little oregano on the recipe. All right. And a little bit of thyme. So we're just going to chop all that up. That is a good idea. Is because all I want is time with you. Uh, yeah, like actually, there. that had uh, parsley in it. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, well, let's put some parsley to it. There you go. So that's parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. All right. There you go. My sister is rosemary. He but we did add a little oregano. All right. <laughs> okay, so just uh, sprinkle some of that on top. So as you looking see, good. it's a it's little uh, good. rough chop. There you go. I'll let you do the honors. So what do you think? I just can kind of throw it yeah, all over? just throw it all over oh. while I chop some garlic here. Looks good. Any of you chefs that uh, would like to be part of this, of course, you're more than welcome to come and share your expertise and knowledge with uh, the folks back home. Of course, here we cook nice, quick, simple recipes that anybody can do at home. That was my job. Right? Yeah. I know, but I just uh, had carry to do that. Yeah. Little so drizzle? Why don't you, yeah, little drizzle. Why don't you pat the chicken now? All right. You said that was your job, right? So That's my job. Yeah, there you go. Push it, push it in there, there. Push it in there. Just make sure just there where I cut massage, the meat. Like massage, like a massage. Yeah. Yeah. Just put it in there where I cut the meat nice and... Uh, I got it. On today's show, That's the part right. of the chicken should be played by chicken. me. Looks good. Now, Massage. with this, one, we're actually going to serve a vinegar and orange glaze. Mm. I have some uh, nice uh, organic distilled white vinegar from uh, Old Food Market here. I'm going to put some on the chicken as well. And then here I have a hot pan. I'm going to uh, do a white vinegar reduction. I'm going to just put it on. Just there to so this, uh, reduce you know, down. Since I wrote the book on diabetes, is this diabetic friendly? Well, this is, yes, this definitely can be. Yeah, the chicken is, you know, it's nice proteins. And, uh, 
No, no, no. I, d uh, I didn't change. And uh, the vegetables are going to be actually very diabetic friendly. Sweet potato, of course, have a lower uh, glycemic index, so it's a nice alternative to regular potatoes. Mm -hmm. Not that they're ideal, but they're better. Right. Okay. So then we are going to take this nice fat. Looks good. Stop staring at the breast, Bob. Chicken. <laughs> That and two I'm jokes gonna for pop you. it on the grill. You like chicken, right, Bob? And I I'm actually going to do it uh, breast side down. And I'm going to put some of the herbs right there on top. And then what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cover it with another pan so that it creates like a little oven effect. And it cooks from underneath and from the top as well, and it expedites a little bit the cooking time. So then we're going to How long do you this. Think? We're going to actually put this one aside. Since we cut the chicken with on the cutting board, we don't want to cut anything else because of, well, hands off, cross-contamination. You know, that's how most uh, uh, foodborne illness spread is by certain food touching others then shouldn't be touching each other. Right. So then, while we have a little time here, before we go to break, we're going to start cutting our veggies. Or we're going to start cutting our veggies, but we need we do need to go to break. Okay. And uh, we're actually going to cut these nice and laying, uh, laying, uh, lay them out on a nice tray. I and think then we're going to marinate them. I think it's past Bob's Why? bedtime. I what is it? I think it's past his bedtime. Bob. It is not past my bedtime. How old are you, Bob? I am 25. Oh. <laughs> and I'm a crazy party animal. Okay. Oh, right. well, <laughs> yes. That's it. My party animal, Bob. Before we go further with this, uh, remember if you missed any parts of these recipes, or if you want to catch any other recipes, go to chevlive.com. And we'll be right back. We'll be right we back. Don't go anywhere. Don't. You. Well, they can go away for a little while, so I can. Yeah. No, they gotta wash it. Yeah. Oh, she loves me. We'll be back. I will, if you are. <laughs> Bonjour! Welcome back to Chef Live. We are here with Luciano and Lucy. Oh. Hello. What are we at? Where are we at? What are we doing? Hi, right. Bob. Actually, we're ready to marinate the veggies. I'll let Lucy do that. Which She's going to just do some olive oil first or salt and pepper? Uh, salt and pepper or olive right. oil first. And then, so that way the salt and pepper will stick, stick to everything. Right. right. And then, in the meanwhile, I have here some orange already cut for the glaze. The vinegar has reduced to what I wanted to reduce, which is about one fourth of its original volume. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the oranges, the orange ends off, and then I'm going to peel, and then I'm going to cut the segments off one by one. So I'm going to go in between the skin and just cut the segments. So all I have is the actual part. I like these. I know you do. I like it. So don't be shy. We need lots of flavor. Why put lot? And uh, we're just going to cut the segment right in there. Okay, and oh, then I actually have the, the rest of the oranges already prepped because this is kind of a little bit uh, time, quick. Con time consuming. I know I'm quick, but this is actually something that can be done in advance, of course. It doesn't have to be done just now. Is and it time uh, to flip the bird? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you. <laughs> 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 I know, I had to throw it in there. <laughs> that was great. You are a good. funny girl. I know. All right. <laughs> funny guys. All right, Why don't you just leave that pen and see how the bird lo looks and see if it's ready to oh, be you flipped. You want me to look at? I'm not lifting. Look at the bird. It looks good from here. It yeah. looks really good. Bob. <laughs> Cut it out, Bob. I'm sorry. I'm a little okay, nervous about so lifting that pen I up. actually have an extra orange here we're going to use for, uh, for garnish later. So I'm going to add now my orange juice and segment and, and chicken. let me see here oh the chicken looks nice see it's coming from the top and the bottom and look at that beautiful, beautiful. wow that's good beautiful oh, that's beautiful. a beautiful, beautiful chicken is right just like yeah. me right up so we're gonna wow. set this one chicken. over here for now like this you don't need a little mustard and i think oh. those veggies need a little more uh, uh olive oil uh, lucy and All then right. what am I going to do here? Oh, I have here the cutting board I used earlier for the chicken. And I have here a chicken breast. I have a whole bunch here already sliced. I'm going to cut the filet off. And then I'm going to slice the breast at an angle. I know I said breast, Bob. Don't laugh. 
I'm not laughing. I am over those 12 year olds. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> get breast. <laughs> no, it's over. I tried, You're 25 now. I, right? I, it's over I, didn't. I cut the breast about a quarter of an inch thick at an angle so that I have a nice wide slice. Just like that. Looks a lot easier than it is, huh? <laughs> cut, put the hand on the breast, and then <laughs> you slice right Bob. in <laughs> there. As long as you can feel the knife, you can actually know yes. that you're not going to cut yourself. And right. then I have me and my wet towel, uh -huh. which is wet with the uh, sanitizer just to clean my hands good since good. I cannot wash them. Good. Good and I'm going to actually start putting my veggies on the barbecue right now. Beautiful. I got enough oil. Yeah, I think so. And then I'll probably add more so if need be. I'm I just going to so put too. the asparagus right there. How's it going over there, Luch? It's going. No, Do you it know? It will. It if will I could rearrange the alphabet. I would put you and I together. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> that is this is one. my little French man. <laughs> <laughs> we all can speak French so if we want to, right? Oui, oui, mademoiselle. Si. Aujourd'hui. Right, jokesters. Wow. All right, so while all right. we have our uh, veggies cooking there, we're going to prep our chicken piccata. Now, what's in a uh, chicken piccata? Capers. And what else? I love capers. Garlic. Garlic. Right. Garlic. Uh, Was that lemon? Lemon, that's right. Bank. Olive Captain oil, Picard. of course. Of course. And chicken. And chicken, of course. Chicken. Chicken. And parsley as well. So we're just going to chop all that up, all those ingredients. There's some garlic here. Am I going to put the stuff in there? Uh, if you want to. There you go, a little rough chop. That looks good. Or actually, if you wanted to do a little quicker, you can put this in a food processor and just blend it in with a little olive oil. Yeah. Just the same, and you will just uh, Where do capers come save from? some time. Uh, capers actually are... They look uh, like little olives or something. No, actually, no? capers are uh, the, flower bud, the flower bud of a caper plant. So it is uh, the flower itself before it blooms, and uh, then you have the little capers. And then the bigger the bloom gets, the bigger the caper gets. And then when it blooms and it makes the fruit, that's when you have a caper berry. How about that? Yeah, I know. So you're gonna wow. actually put that in there. You can salt and pepper everything. I thought the caper was only in Scooby Doo. Yeah. Over there. All right. So all the. All right. the I love these little salt and pepper shakers. They're just kind of fun. You know, they a little spice to the Absolutely. show. Absolutely, and don't be shy. Like I said, I'm not shy. Get a little extra in there. And you can just put that stuff on there. All right. And then we've got some parsley here. Oh, I missed. Uh, I'm getting carried away over here. It's a good thing Bob's not doing it. You know, be all over the place. You know, that's bad luck, right? Oh, wait. Yeah. I know. I'm Italian, too. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. No, oh, no, Bob. You don't get them. Oh, the oh. other shoulder, too. A little, bit, little bit for Bob. OK, I can throw this in. Oh. Yeah, throw that in. Thank you very much. Salt and Mix pepper. I'm gonna check my veggies here. Oh, my glaze is going. And uh, Ooh, this looks good. I uh, know it does. And then of course we want to add some olive oil in that. You did. This okay. time you did. And uh, we'll check our chicken here. See how it's doing. Oh, look at the chicken. Mm, it do look beautiful. So have you tried any of the recipes we did on Chef Live at home? Of course I have. All and right. I think we might be ready to go to a commercial break. So while we finish cooking our veggies here, we will let our chicken piccata marinate. Of course, we need to add some olive oil. Drizzle, he's famous for the drizzle. Right. He loves his olive oil. Well, the, right, drizzle, no, the drizzle is at the end. Oh, OK. Yeah, finish plate, then you drizzle. Now we just oh, now we just throw we just it pull, in. We okay. just throw it in. Gotcha. Anyway, if you missed any of uh, the action, any of uh, the part of the, the segment of this recipe, uh, catch it on cheflight.com alongside many other recipes uh, that will uh, keep you busy for a long time. Very busy. We'll be right back. That is very true. We'll be right back. We will be back, and bye then bye. we will finish this, okay. and then we will eat it. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I love my Bob. Welcome back to Chef Live. I am Chef Bob. How are you doing, Lucy? I'm doing great. We are here with Luciano Pellegrini. How are you doing, Luciano? I'm doing good. I actually finished taking the veggies off the grill and the tomato, which I put good. on while you were gone. Yum. And uh, as you can see, I just cut them, like I said, about a half inch thick, and I grilled them only on one side 
otherwise it just get too soft and uh, not as easy to handle. Oh. So ah. these are done, and I'm actually gonna set them here up here on the grill. As you can see, the chicken is almost ready to go as well. It's good. And here is our chicken piccata. Last it's things good. we kind of Lemon. forgot. Lemon, it wouldn't be a chicken Lemon, piccata. You know. oh. Limone. 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 And we're just gonna Give mix, him it, up a little bit. mix it up. Does it look like I got enough spices on there? Yeah, it looks okay. good. And then it's we're easy. gonna finish it off. We're gonna add a little more anyway. So This is so easy. Everybody yes. can make this. And the, easy th the, the amazing thing is they cook in like, really, a hot grill will cook in like one minute. That's even one better. One minute each side. Yeah, That's absolutely. That's even better. So I'll do this. I'll just start putting this on. All right. As you can see, I don't know. I'd rather I know. know. If I'm eating, I'd rather be the one that do, that's doing the cooking. Yeah. I like that tip you, know, you got about just grilling on one side, because I, I always would grill on both sides, and then you got mush vegetables. Well, that's only for tomato. You definitely mush. don't want to do that yeah. with the chicken. Makes sense. Yeah. So like you see, uh, uh, and then I'll Looks flip in the chicken, and it's... It's flipping the chicken over there. You made a joke last time. I tip. did, I did. I <laughs> she made said joke. he was flipping the bird. He was flipping the bird. <laughs> it was funny. It was. Was. I was flipping that's, the bird. That's cooking quick. Well, that's the thing. You cut them nice and thin, and uh, all of a sudden, you have a very quick meal to prepare. And of course, you can actually, you know, do this on a saute pan if you do not have a great. Uh, so you don't have to make a sauce or nothing. It's just all yeah, right. Yeah, this is right? nice and simple. And then you use some of the veggies. The veggies are nice and juicy, and then. You put a little more olive oil at the end, and that's so uh, healthy. That will make it even better. This is a healthy meal, huh? It's uh, good for you. It sure Very is. Very good for you. It's good food. Was it good for you? It's good for you. It's healthy. It good it's for not me. healthy for the chicken, but it's healthy for us. <laughs> of course. <laughs> She's so silly. And the chicken here is actually almost ready to go. You know We're what? Ready I'm to go. Take it off and put it on a plate, and it can actually sit for a minute while we get ready with everything else to go. I think wow. we're just gonna serve the one chicken. Are you kidding me? And it breaks up real easy, huh? Oh my gosh, yeah, that looks so well. good. Just Beautiful. like that, we'll let it sit for a moment while we finish this. He's cooking up a storm over here, Luch. It's cooking. There's no storm, the weather is perfect. <laughs> it is perfect, this is a perfect night, huh? Yes, it is. I know, we're here at Whole Foods and it's a perfect night. And then what I'd like to do, whenever I marinate, yeah. I always put marinate. the pan that I marinate in on the grill and I'll yes. let it get nice and hot so that it just kills any bacteria that might, that might have been in the raw meat. Oh. And then I always like to put the raw the meat, the cooked meat. Oh, into so you don't have to worry about that when you cook on the grill, Absolutely, huh? Absolutely, yeah. Gone. And, and then I usually let the meat sit in a little pan there for a few minutes and then I let its juices kind of fall and uh, they make their own sauce. Ready to go. Oh, that smells good. And then here we have our veggies, look at them. Sorry, back off, Bob. Oh, Stay no. away from the food. And no. the chicken over here, make some room for the veggies. We're gonna put some over here. Look at it's that. like it's an artist. Spadigous. It's like an artist, and like painting a tomatoes. picture. He puts it all together so it's just beautiful. But with food. How long have you been doing this, Luch? Uh, a few years. A year or two? Yeah, about 30. How long have you been cooking, Bob? Um, Since yesterday. I'm afraid to tell you. No, we went And to I heard that. You heard what? Well. Hey. I, I heard what you said. I a little olive oil to my orange glaze. Wow. Look at that. So you see that is nice and thick. Yeah. And that's what? That. Just but the enough about my just biceps. The orange and the vinegar, right there. <laughs> Talk wow. about the food. The chicken. Yum, my yeah. mouth's watering. <laughs> I'm going to add some. It's going to parsley. make it pretty. Just hold parsley, just like that. Look Gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Are you sleeping, Bob? No, you I am just mm. craving the food in my belly. All right, all right. <laughs> I can hear your stomach and growling from now. Now we drizzle. <laughs> and we might want to finish off with a little bit of uh, this fancy salt we got over here. This now this, salt? this will actually add flavor and texture because it's nice and coarse. Like kind of chunky salt, yeah, right? Yeah, it is chunky mm -hmm. salt. And then here we're gonna start putting our chicken in the pan. We're feeding army over here. We are feeding an army tonight. I know. We have a starving audience. Starving audience. Hmm. 
Well, you've got the little tongs over there, so I'll do the best I can over there. I tried to keep it in my mouth. I'm sorry. I didn't know you'd notice. I know. No biting. Oh, you said tongs. Yeah, tongs. I thought you were talking about my tongue. No. No. You know you got to keep your tongue in your mouth. It can't come out. You're a puppet. <laughs> Oops. Don't tell anybody. All right. <laughs> Okay. It's not as pretty as you would do it, but I tried. Yeah. So what you do next time is yes. you kind of start one corner, you put one here, and then you do the tomatoes right over here. See, I learned something with every do, show. And then you do the potatoes right over here, and then a little more asparagus here, and right there. It's nothing like I did there it, but that's all right. And then here we have our chicken potato. Is this hot? Actually, I don't know, is it? Well, a little. I just push it over. Oh. Oh. Bob, you do it. It's not you gonna burn hurt you. my hand. No, you whatever. burn my puppet hand. <laughs> <laughs> Bob the wimp. Oh, that looks good. There you go. See that? Took so quick. One fraction of time to cook. Then did the whole chicken. Even though that is a different presentation, yeah. different flavor, different. different texture, different everything. Look how pretty you and made then that look. Just put it all together. I'm gonna have to and learn a little bit of your artistic ability. Yeah, we just. I'll get uh, better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you know, That's what happens, everybody. You just keep cooking. You keep That's trying right. with the recipes from ChefLive.com. You are all messy and girl. Put a little uh, capers on top. You learn. Yeah. And as with the other one, we put some fresh parsley leaves right there. And finish off with a little olive oil. There it is. Is that the drizzle? This is the drizzle. That is the drizzle. That's the drizzle. The drizzle. The drizzle. Uh, the drizzle. Like the drizzle. Uh, two versions of chickens. If you have a little more time, if you have a little less time, lots of flavors, no matter what. And thanks to Bob, thanks to Lucy, and thanks to Whole Food Market on Charleston and Fort Apache for providing us with the uh, room, the space, and of course, all this delicious food. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Of course, go to ChefLive.com uh, to see these recipes and many others. See you later. See you Bye. later. Bye. Until the next time. Au revoir. Au revoir.